It's Sunday evening at a local entertainment center in Barovio on the outskirts of Morovia and Sandy Rabbles, brother of foreign legendary Liberian musician Tikomsi Rabbles, is using music to call for justice for him. Just as he does tonight, Rabbles sings his brother's songs using every opportunity he gets wooing the audience in the process. 58-year-old Rabos says it's his way of memorializing his late brother. There was a special relationship between us because most families don't have intimacy with the immediate family. Most families are divided and amongst us we decided to hold love through music, love through parental guidance and love in Christ together. So we're very, very, very close. Rabos says on the day that his brother was killed, the pair had run out of cash and had decided to take a show on the road in the Point Four area on the outskirts of Monrovia in search of food. They met Prince Johnson's convoy of vehicles with armed men. He says the warlord asked the Comsey to come to his cardware base to sing for him. And in two hours' time, I sat in the house anticipating the return of the Comsey, and there was the rebel soldiers on the street and telling me, oh, they killed, they killed one musician on the base. The Comsey rebel, they shot him, they say he was a gay. And I said, what? But her priest, a commander and a, a leader of a fighting force, can take someone on a base on an invitation. And in less than three, four hours, the news come back, the man is dead. I don't believe it. I'm standing on what used to be the infamous Cardwell base of the much feared INPF rebel movement of then general, now Nima County Senator Prince Johnson. It is believed that the legendary Liberian musician Tecumseh Roberts was captured and executed here. Tecumseh Roberts and others, including Walter Addison, wife of then Defense Minister Grady Addison, were all allegedly executed by Senator Johnson and dumped into this river. 75-year-old old man Benny C, who had joined the Liberian Army before the First Civil War, says. Johnson killed his brother in the same area. He says he witnessed the moment that led to the Comsey's death. Samuel Vanny, he's the one that killed the council rabble. He said the men that were fair. So he, 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 he tell the people, he said, you take out the men trace. When they take out the men trace, they, 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 they couldn't fall down. He said, they made a, 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 a foolish man. How can he take a gun and fire the man? Johnson admitted the killing to the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, saying that Vanny killed Rabos because he claimed he was a gay. Mr. C. says he supposed supposed push for a war crimes code for Liberia. Sandy Rabos also supposed the court, claiming his brother's spirit has been restless since his execution. T.R. spirit needs justice. T.R. spirit needs an approach for the cause of his death. T.R. spirit needs an answer to why was he taken peacefully and murdered horribly. We need to find an answer. We need to ask these questions. Because this is one of the things that even killed my mother, the death of my brother. You know how I feel today to sit here to talk this? Terrible, horrible, miserable. Robert says he blames Senator Johnson for his brother's death. He says he has not forgiven him because he believes the senator is unremorseful for his action. I could forgive Prince Johnson 
if he had remorse of what he had done and a first situation like man, not like a chicken pluck out of feathers, more like a beheaded chicken finding a hideout, hiding behind images and shadows. Because in his own mind, he knows about the atrocities that he caused, the heartache he caused to families. The Comsey Rivers touched so many lives and inspired many young people to become a musician. Tony Kabade was raised into the music industry by the deceased star. He describes Rabos as the master of his game, eloquent and irreplaceable. Kabade says T.R., as he used to call him, took him to Cote d'Ivoire and ensured that he went to Germany as well. And I went, I was in Germany for like a year. From 86, it took me, 87, I was in Germany. It, it, I came back to Liberia. That was because of that, I, I came back with my own equipment and opened the Cross Atlantic Recording Studio. So I'm grateful to T.R. And he took what three librarian musicians he took up, you know, there. What three librarian artists he took. He, he, he believed in Liberia, and you know, he was one person. Most time he performed that you put a librarian flag here. He would talk some librarian slangs then. Anyway, yeah, you all want to talk about Liberia. Kabada says it took him long to believe that the robbers had died, having heard about his death from some friends. T. Ara and the robbers, too, were not supposed to die the way they died. They were harmless people. They were not fretters, he says. Kabada weighs in on the war crime school debate. I supported 150 percent. I supported greatly. We lost a lot of artists whether for nothing. Tear the battle, nobody should have died the way he died. I support justice. Tony Kabade was not the only Liberian musician to have performed alongside Tecumseh Comsey Rivers. His childhood friend under Bruce because he was a jovial person and the only one to have owned a bad circle amongst them at the time. My last interaction with TR was in 1980, 88, 89, I think it was 89, uh, when we had a chance to perform together at the Ducor. There was a benefit being held for the Cuttington uh, University, now university, it was Cuttington College in the days. And uh, TR and I were the two headliners for the entertainment that evening. And uh, we did, uh, we did uh, Masusu together, and we did we did it uh, uh, we did it in a in a duo. Tecumseh Rabos made headlines at a time Liberian music was barely aired on local radio and TV stations, but his presence and iconic stature changed everything because a claimed Liberian broadcaster Charles Slinter, who caused the late Rabos an icon for Liberia. Getting rid of an artist like, like T.R. were not realizing what, what or uh, who he was. I think it, it was a terrible thing, a big loss for Liberia. A very, 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 very big loss. Okay. Um, we just pray that uh, we'll always have him as an icon, uh, just like uh, Bob Marley. You know, of, 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 of Jamaica or Elvis Presley of the United States. You know, he, he was an icon for, for Liberia. Mr. Snetter says he supports justice for the Comsey Rivals and others killed during the Liberian Civil Wars. Definitely. You know, um, I'm, I'm a lover of, of history. Okay, and history, I, I, I feel, is, is a guide to, to life and, you know, so that you don't repeat it again, okay? I always tell people, I say, well, if Germany could, could uh, uh, had surrender and then there was the Nuremberg trials that, you know, that, that prosecuted people that, that caused pain, 
why we here in Liberia cannot do, uh, uh, you know, likewise, okay? Our country is far smaller uh, population-wise than, 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 than Germany. And a lot of things that happen here are still fresh in, in our minds. Former Liberian Information Minister Emmanuel Buya says Rawa's impact on the Liberian music industry was huge. Well, he had tremendous impact on the music industry uh, in inspiring young people to you know, go into music. Uh, I think one of his daughters, I forgot her name, but she followed him and his brother Sandy Roberts followed him. And uh, he was a very good, um, a good example of what a Liberian musician should be. In recent months, campaigns for a war crimes court for Liberia have been gaining momentum with the arrest, indictment and trial of ex-Liberian rebel leaders overseas during calls for the court. But the WIA administration seems to be leading towards restorative justice. So far, Johnson has dismissed calls for the court as a fiasco. For now, the family and friends of the Comsi Rivals will have to settle for this weekend's music industry recognition of their 40 euro. Justice for his killing may be some way off. This report was produced by Power TV in collaboration with new narratives. I'm Anthony Stevens reporting.